All right, welcome back. Let's get back to it. And what's going to happen with poor abducted Maginos? And actually, there's one good thing about it. When somebody gets abducted, well, unfortunately, they lose any cheese they had. They lose any items that they had discovered from searching. But they also lose their... So, Maginos, when we do eventually find him, will be nice and healed up after a good long rest. So, uh, now... And, you know, the abduction thing... Normally, abduction... Or not abduction. Normally, a character is captured when they lose all their hit points. And that just means they're taken from the board. And as soon as all the bad guys in a room are defeated, they immediately are found. And, you know, they come back and they join the group. This abduction is different, though, because you have to actually search for them to find them. So I think that overrules. I think that means we could search for them anytime we want. We don't have to wait until the room is empty. But on the other hand, it can get tricky to find them because, well, Tilda, of course, she has already searched and successfully found something in this room. That means she can't search in here anymore. It's actually a really tricky thing that's easy to lose track of whether you, um, you know, because sometimes these rooms last for a long, long time and you, and you forget who actually found things. But Tilda can't search anymore. Our other two heroes still can search to um, restore Maginos. And if we were playing a four-player game, whoever's controlling Maginos, you know, they're SOL. They don't get to play until he's eventually found. So, we still have the problem of running out of time. I do think we're going to try and... Because if we actually... I believe if we succeed at helping Miss Maggie, I'm pretty sure one of our rewards is the we get another... We, you know, this gets pushed so we get more time. I believe that's the case. So, we're still going to go for it. But now, we, st we still have to move, we still have to go quick, and we also have this thing of having to search and find Maginos. So for starters, it's Colin's turn, and what's he going to do? Well, first of all, let's see how far he can move. Right, he rolled a 2, plus 2 means he can go 4. I think he's going to rush up and charge, and he'll take out this, he'll go for this rat. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, yeah, there we go, that's close enough. And he'll go on a hand attack. He could have gone for this one, but I'm leaving this one open so that Tilda, because if Tilda gets a two, she can go one, two, three, four, and she could fight that one. Tilda would not have been able to reach this. Tilda is next in attack. And we want to get through these as fast as possible. So Colin goes for the shot. He gets no, he gets to roll three dice because of his sword. And only one hit. That's not very good. So let's see what the defense is from the rat. And no defense. Okay, so the rat is out anyway. Very nice. So Colin has moved. He's attacked. He's done. Next up is Tilda. Let's see how far she can move. Two. That's good enough. She can move four. One, two is her base. One, two. She just rolled. So she's going to take a pot shot at Ratty Ratterson. She only gets to roll two dice. And she gets one successful hit. Let's see how the rat does. And he doesn't dodge, so he dies, but he does get another cheese. So the wheel starts filling up again. Now, if the wheel in this room were to fill up again, all that would happen is the hourglass would move. You can't have a surge a second time in the same room. But still, it's bad. I mean, you know, running out of time. Is that, that's how we keep, you know, Jen and I, we've actually lost this scenario twice before we eventually won it the third time because we just kept running out of time. Um, not because we were in any particular danger. But anyway... So it's, it's all about go, go, go. And do you have enough time to make it into the kitchen? So, okay, she's taken out him. And now, so that means the Rat Warriors are gone. Oh, I forgot. The Rat Warriors would have pushed their way up. They would have, but I forgot to, it doesn't matter. They're gone now anyway. So now it's Filch's turn. So I think before we leave, because Maginus isn't going to do anything. Now, if we stay in here, Maginus won't do anything. And then we'll, you know, a, a round will have ended with no bad guys on. And so we get another cheese wheel. So Filch is definitely going to explore so that we will leave this area. But before he does, let's search and see if we can find old Meiji. All right. So he, gets, he only gets a 50-50 chance. Although it's a shame. Oh, well, he does have an option. We have to succeed at a search. He has a 50-50 chance of getting, of finding Maginus. However... He has the special ability of find, which only he can have because he's a scamp. He has two cheese, so he could pay for this. You may use this ability instead of roll, and instead of rolling for uh, after after rolling a successful, we may use this ability after rolling a successful roll instead of. Oh shoot! I'm thinking of a different one. There's another one called seek. If he had the ability to seek then um, he, basically what that means, he's guaranteed to succeed. But that, he has the one where if he searches, instead of drawing one dot card, he draws three. <sighs> but, you know, he's not searching for stuff, loot right now. He's searching to find his buddy Maginos. And he failed. All right, so that was his action. Oh, wait. Oh, no, no. That was his action. That means he won't be able to explore. So, you know what? I don't think he has time. Um, right, because... 
that means because that, that means the the wheel would fill up. So we're actually going to move on without Maginus. We'll try and find him in the next room. So um, his actions were sorry. He didn't search. Instead, he's he's not going to move because he's already where he needs to be. He's going to explore, and that means all three of our remaining heroes end up in the kitchen. And you can see there's this little tile here. There's a tile that's askew. That's where they come up. This is where they enter. Hello, 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 hello. Yeah. What's going on? What's going on? Okay. Whoops. And hopefully we'll find. Hopefully we'll find Maginus here. I sure hope so too. Okay. So here we are in the kitchen, and now we got to go back to the storybook. And there's probably gonna be some more story time. All right. Here we go. We are in the kitchen now. As you can see, there are four or you know four special things. Oh, I'm sorry. One, two, three, four, five special things that we are gonna set up for this tile. And this is really part of the big, big part of the game is the story, whenever you enter tiles, can radically change the rules, put you in a lot of really interesting situations, like this one. So, we have a story moment. <clears throat> Filch pushed aside the loose, uh, pushed the uh, loose tile aside, and the party poked their head up from the floor. The kitchens lay before them with Miss Maggie towering above everything. The fastidious older woman appeared to have been in the act of scrubbing floors, but now was desperately trying to squash the pesky roaches that had invaded her kitchen. Let's help her, said Colin, leaping up bravely with his sword. Perhaps we should talk about this, said Filch. Scared, Filch? Uh, Nez chided. An ear-splitting scream froze them all in their tracks, and suddenly Miss Maggie's shadow fell over their hiding place on the floor. Mice, she screamed. Yes, said Filch. Very scared. Okay, so that's our setup. Um, this is actually a weird thing about the stories. Nez spoke. Nez is not in our adventure. Nez, oh, I didn't bring him along, and yet he eh, always kind of drives me nuts. So I'll talk about that in the final thoughts. Anyway, though, so special setup. Six roaches are going to be placed as normal on the floor, and six cheese tokens and two more roaches are going to be put up on the counter special area. So this is a roach motel here. One, two, one, two. Actually, I guess three in each of these spots because they get spread. Me melee creatures get spread. Two more. So these are all eight roaches are on this board. And six cheese are put up here as well. One, two, th three, four, five, six. Now, what's going to happen? I'll, I'll save you from reading the rest of the story stuff. Basically, um, this is the this is the scenario. So we can pretty much ignore that encounter card. This is a special one. We ignore the encounter card. And while we're in here, the roaches will attack us like normal. And these roaches, if we don't get up here, if there's no, if there's nobody to distract these roaches, um, you know, so they would come up and try and, you know, and, we, and to get up here, by the way, we have to climb up this broom handle. If we had had this fish hook, remember I tried to find it in the river, but I couldn't. If we had the fish hook, we could just, you know, come right up the fish hook really quickly. But as it is, we have to climb up the broom handle, which means we have to cross this which is um, requires three movement. So it's very hard for us to get up here, but once we get up here, the roaches will attack us. As long as we're not up here, these two roaches, every turn, will try to eat the cheese. And if they do, they add it to the cheese wheel of doom. So we've got a problem. We've got to take out all these roaches, and we got to get up here as fast as possible to stop these roaches from eating the cheese. And there's another problem. Miss Maggie doesn't know who we are, and so, every time we f try to fight a roach, there's a 50-50 chance that she will swat us with her broom and prevent us from doing it. And every time she does that, she knocks us down and she puts another roach up on the board. So we've got a problem. This is a very special circumstance. Do we rush right up? Um, do we fight all the, and you know, not, because there's only two cockroaches here right now, but as more cockroaches come up, basically each cockroach has a 50-50 chance of eating a cheese. Um, so as more cockroaches come up, the, the wheel will fill up faster. And if the wheel fills up, the special surge for this room is Brody. Brody the cat, who is right there on the cover of the box, is a very, very nasty boss type creature. And if Brody comes in here, we're in a lot of trouble. So I think we really need to make sure we don't surge. So I think somebody definitely has to get up here and distract these roaches. But we also have to be searching to try and find Maginos so we can get him back. It's a real shame. If Maginos was here from down below, he could shoot at these roaches because line of sight is not broken by... Um, this, there's a red line here. That means you can't move. Yellow line means you can move, but you move slower. Line of sight is not broken by, um, is not broken by anything other than solid walls. So Ma if Maginos is still here, he could be shooting him. So we need to find him too. That's very, very important. But, oh, okay. So we got to get the roach uh, card out. We gotta shuffle them up with our guys and we see what the initiative is gonna be. 
including Ragnos, who is not part of the party yet. So let's shuffle, 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 never a kerfuffle. This is my shuffling song. Don't, don't. You know what? I think I need some more lyrics. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Um, cards from my duffel. This is my, um, what else rhymes with shuffle? Ah, uh, whatever. Close enough. Let's go. So let's see what the damage is. And Colin first again. Come on, Prince Colin. So he does not get his free cheese. He just needs two more cheese and he could level up. Now, a Filch could give him those cheese. Eh, we might want to do that and level him up. Um, Tilda. Groaches. This is the exact same order we had in the last room. Exactly the same. My, my shuffling um, was poor. All right, so anyway, it's Colin's turn. You know what? I think to heck of it. I really would love to use these two cheese with Filch to be able to do a search and draw three cards and get us something really good. But right now, before he does anything, as a free action, Colin and Filch could share, since they're together, could give these two, and Colin could level up. What's more important? Do we level up so Colin has more power to help us in this fight? Or is it more power in that Filch does a really good search and finds us some really good stuff? I'm, gonna, I'm, not, I'm not gonna do it. I'm, I'm gonna, guys, I really wanna find some good stuff. Plus, as you saw, searching in this deck is dangerous. There's, there's treacherous cards in here. Filch, though, with his fine thing, he gets to draw three cards and keep the ones he likes, so it's a good way to avoid bad cards. So anyway, Colin is not going to share. He's not going to level up. Let's see how far he can move. Not that it matters, because he's only going to move one space anyway. Uh, he can move two plus two. He's just going to start fighting some roaches. Um, one, and he'll... Well, let's have him come over here to the ones that are farther away. Well, no, these ones, they might not make it, so we might be able to avoid them for a while. They might only move one space. So let's have him um, move here, and he'll attack these. He gets to roll three dice. He's hitting one of the roaches, and only one success. Oh, poor show, Colin. Now, the roaches only get one defense, and he did it, so Colin, a uh, swing and a miss. Okay, Tilda's turn. Tilda will likewise follow suit. I'm not going to bother rolling. She's only moving one space. She gets to roll two dice, and she gets, um, what do you got? She gets one hit. And the Roach only gets one defense, and nothing. So Tilda shows the young prince how it's done and takes out a cockroach. Okay. Oh, wait. No, no, no. It's not as simple as that. Whenever, it's a special thing. In this room, whenever we successfully kill a cockroach, we have to roll. And there's a 50-50 chance that Miss Maggie will be so freaked out, she will prevent Tilda from killing that roach. So, um, let's see. Is it we want a star or we don't want a star? Let's look. Special rules. Um, there's a the Hungry Roaches rule. Um, roll a die if... If you do not get a star, so we need a star. Come on, Tilda, get a star. This is very important. Get a star, Tilda. Tilda failed to get a star. So what that means is, right before she was about to deliver the killing blow to that roach, Miss Maggie's broom um, knocked the roach aside, and the roach went, woo, and got knocked up here. And now we got three roaches, and Tilda got knocked down. Next turn, Tilda's entire turn is going to be spent standing back up. That is painful. That is bad news. Now on the flip side, one thing that's good is once we do successfully roll a star um, from killing one of these roaches, what will happen is Miss Maggie will notice, hey, those little mice, they've got weapons and clothes. They're actually trying to help me and she'll stop attacking. And in fact, we will get this token, the favor of Miss Maggie. And the rules specifically say, where do they say? Right here. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. And this kind of stuff happens all the time. Um, once the party has the Miss Maggie ally token, do not roll to gain Miss Maggie's attention any longer. Um, but, 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 oh yeah, we increase, we get more time for doing it, and um, we get the token. And somewhere in here it says that that token is going to help us. All right, helping Miss Maggie will get players the Miss Maggie ally story achievement, which would help, which could help in later chapters. And it does, it does. A little bit, not a huge amount, but it does help. So that's an example of how chapters, you know, events that can happen in one chapter can change what happens in another chapter. So anyway, so Tilda failed. Roach's turn. All right, let's roll for these guys. Um, there's three of them. All their, Since there's nobody up here distracting them, they're all going to try and eat cheese. Uh, let's roll for them all. If any of them eat a cheese. No, none of them ate cheese. Okay, that is very lucky. So we didn't put any cheese onto the cheese wheel. Next up, uh, these ones are the closest. They are going to try... Uh, this guy will move, he, I'm not going to bother rolling because he's only going to move one space. He's going to move in here with these two and he gets to roll two attacks. He could hit either of them. The tiebreaker is initiative, so he's going to try and hit Colin. And he rolls a cheese and one. A cheese and one hit. Colin has two defense, right, with his leather breastplate. Oh, 
I totally forgot. I totally forgot this. Back in the very, very first room, we did a search and we found the button shield, which we gave to Colin. This is not part of his starting equipment. This is a special item he's got that increases his defense by one. He's our tank. Not only does he get to roll three on attack, he gets to roll one, two, three on defense because he's got the button shield. Only a warrior or a healer can use it. So I totally forgot about that. Anyway, so he's going to get to roll three for defense. And um, he didn't get roll any defense. So actually, he just took a point of damage. But booyaka Shaw, he just got two cheese. So you know he's going to level up next turn. So pretty happy with that. That's pretty nice. Okay. So that was that cockroach. Now this other cockroach, he's going to move in as well. So this space is full. Nobody else can move in. And no one can move through it either. That cockroach gets to roll two. And oh my gosh. Jeepers creepers. Two cheese. This is fast becoming. If Brody, if Brody comes out, we're in big, big trouble. All right. So, but he didn't hit. All right. So the cock. Oh, now these cockroaches. Now they're farther away. Let's roll for them. First guy, he gets to move two spaces. One, two. He gets to go for Filch. Hello. And let's roll for him. And another cheese and a hit. Oh my gosh. Right, and so we're out of cheese, because all these cheese are up here, and uh, I believe the thing is we have, let's see, what are we going to use? Let's use a heart as a placeholder, because we're out of cheese. Okay, oh my goodness. And now Filch has to defend. Um, Filch. And Filch has two defense, is that right? Yes, he does. All right, boom. And he got a cheese, and failed to defend, so he took a point of damage. Oh my goodness. And he got a cheese. All right, so I'll have to put another heart up here to give him his cheese, and we'll use a... Oh, wait, oh, dirt, look, I've got some cheese up there. All right, I've, I've still got plenty of cheese. I forgot, I swept those off up into that area. I have not run out of cheese, hooray. So put these two back. One more cheese for the bad guys, and Brody appears. So you guys get to see a lot of stuff, and we're in big trouble. All right, so he's got three cheese now. All right, so we still got the other ones. The next guy, he can move only one space. So he moves one. Diagonals, by the way, are fully legal. They count. The last guy, he only moves one space as well. Okay, so the roaches are done. Now, Filch's turn. Okay, we got to turn this around. <sighs> I think Filch, since he's the fastest, it's possible, let's see, he would need one, two, three, four, five. With five movement, he could make it up to the top of the table. These guys would start going after him, but they'd stop eating the cheese. But you know what, really, if they go after it right now, each of them rolls one die to see if they eat cheese. If, they, if he's up here and they're trying to hit him, each of them will get to roll two dice to attack him. He'll potentially die, and they're doubling their chances of rolling cheese. So I think we're just going to leave them alone. All right. So instead, first of all, he's going to search and try to find uh, good old Meiji. Come on, 50 50 chance, find Meiji. Nothing! So Maginos is still out. And that's a problem. He really needs to be up here killing these guys. Oh my goodness, this is a problem. All right, so, and now he will go on ahead and attack. Um, let's have him attack. Uh, it doesn't really matter. He gets to roll two dice. Who's he going to attack? And he got a cheese and one miss, a miss, because he, he didn't do a ranged attack. So he gets another cheese. Hooray. <laughs> um, we're in big trouble. Okay. And that was him. And now Maginos is out because he's still lost and captured. So now it's back to Colin. All right, so Colin, um, you really need to start taking these guys out. So let's roll three. And he got a cheese. Oh, actually, before he rolls, let's level up. He's gonna turn in one, two. This is a free action. Three, four, five, six. Six. Six cheese. All right, and so now he levels up. Let's come over here to the ability. There's a whole bunch of abilities. He already has Battle Squeak, which I've been totally forgetting to use. Of course, I wasn't using it because he was saving up um, so he could level up. But now when he gets cheese, he'll use it for Battle Squeak, which lets him roll an additional die when he attacks, which is a big deal. Right, okay, so he can't use a Mystic ability. He could use Warriors. Let's look. All right, he's a warrior and a leader. So the, and he's not a healer or a healer. He's a leader. He's not Maginos. He's not Scamp or Archer or a Tinkerer or an Archer. Sorry, folks. One-handed filming. Scamp. Is there any more in here for him? I think. Oh, wait, no, there's another one in there. He has a lot of choices, this kid. So you can do Resolve. You can do Thunder Squeak. Right. So these are all, and these, these ones are for other characters. He can now choose any of these abilities. Oh, that's nice. Inspire might be a good one. Inspire, you know, it's a bad thing that he's up top because he didn't get a free cheese, but it's a good thing because if he inspires us, now he has to use two cheese to do this, but then everybody who's below him, if this is the right one, until the end of the round, every mouse performs an action. That mouse can spend one cheese to perform. So everybody can do two actions if they are inspired by him. 
So we could attack twice, and that could really turn it around, but we would need to cheese. Now, so Filch could share his cheese. Yeah, okay, we're just going to take leadership. But there's a lot of things. He could protect, he could resolve, he could get Thunder Squeak, he could take Battle Leader. I haven't looked at this one. Uh, you may use this ability immediately um, after taking a turn with the mouse. Choose a mouse that is higher. So if he's lower on the track, he could do this. Switch this mouse's initiative card. Oh, so he could move forward, and then that means he could be leader in the future. All right, that's pretty cool. So that, that goes well with Inspire if he has leader. But uh, let's worry about it later. He could give orders, he could feint, he could backslash. He's a lot of options, but he's going to inspire all of us. Although he doesn't have any cheese right now, unfortunately. Although, right, so it's still, all right, so first thing he did is he leveled up. Now, if he wants, he could share. He could take two of Filch's cheese. And then he could lead. Let's lead us. So he's taken two of Filch's cheese. He's done leadership. And now that means you can he cannot do battle squeak now. You can only do one um, ability per turn. So he has led us. Now, on our turns, we will get to do two actions apiece because Filch will give one of his cheese to Tilda. So that's going to help a lot. That might turn it around for us. Okay, so anyway, after all of that business, then he's going to roll and try to smack a cockroach. Three hits, that cockroach. All right, so the cockroach is definitely going to... Well, Okay, first of all, the cockroach gets to defend. It might be another cheese, and it is. Wow, boom. We're in big trouble now, folks. All right, we just surged. We've lost more time, and Brody the cat has decided to join the party. Brody is a boss. The boss has always come into the closest spot, and that means Brody, where is his, gotta get his cards out, his initiative cards. He has two. Brody pounces, and Brody chases. I, I think we're going to lose. I think um, things have you know, gone from bat. We should never have come and helped Miss Maggie. So, in the case where there are already monsters on the initiative, the new monsters just go to the bottom. If there were no monsters, when the new monsters come out, they get shuffled in. But as it is, Brody pounces and Brody chases, those will happen at the end of this round. And this kitty cat will give us all kind, uh, put us in a world, a world of hurt. Although, there is one side benefit. He could definitely help us with the cockroaches because if we play him right, we can lead him into attacking cockroaches too. So that's interesting. All right, anyway, though, so let's, we'll come back to that. So, um, oh wait, oh wait, 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 wait. So, okay, um, Colin had three hits, and, um, you know, the, the defense definitely lost the got cheese, but now Miss Maggie might prevent that kill from ever having happened. We need a star. Come on, we need a bit of luck now. Yes! Okay, we got a star. So Miss Maggie notices that, hey, those mice, they kind of look like my friends. And so my, Maggie is alone, we get the party achievement, and we don't have to worry, and the, the cockroach is actually successfully dead. Okay, so we don't have to worry about getting knocked out anymore, but we now have to worry about the house cat, the castle cat. <laughs> Scary. Okay, so that was Colin's turn. Wait, no, actually, Colin hasn't moved yet, has he? No, he hasn't. Let's see, and these guys are still, actually coming up here gives them a better chance, because if, if you have to fight them, we really need Maginos down here shooting them, because they come up, they get to roll two dice, which could give them more, double the chance of getting cheese, um, as opposed to only rolling one dice. So it's better to leave them alone. All right, but no, and no more are gonna flip up, because Miss Maggie's done attacking us. Okay, so Colin could move, and in fact, I think he's going to, because, yeah, okay, yes, Colin, let's see, how far can he move? I should have done this up front. He can move three plus two to five. He's gonna move one, two, three. He's gonna move over here, and he's gonna stand with these cockroaches for reasons that, if, if all goes to plan, for reasons that will become clear very, very soon. Okay, so Colin says, over here, cockroaches, come to me! And so, there he goes off there. Okay, this could actually work in our benefit. We might still turn this around. Tilda's turn. Now, unfortunately, Tilda was knocked down. Her whole turn is just standing up. That's it. Her turn is over, unfortunately. Okay, Roach's turn. All right, let's do these three Roaches first. They all get to try and eat the cheese. Troll form. And no cheese, no cheese, no cheese, no cheese. Okay, so they didn't eat the cheese, so they are just out of it. Not too bad. Okay, so, um, all right, but these other Roaches go. Let's, uh, let's see, and you know, if there's, all right, these Roaches will go first, because they're closest. All right, let's have this Roach go first. Is close to somebody, a Roach? <clears throat> oh, by the way, I forgot. When Colin moved over here, he couldn't just come straight here because as soon as he hit this roach, he had to stop. So he went one, two, three to avoid this roach. So that's important. As you're moving around, if you hit a space with creatures, you have to stop immediately. And so Colin didn't want to stop here. He wanted to make it here. So he went, and he could because they outnumbered the roaches on the space. He went one, two, three, and he made it over to those roaches. Very important. Okay. So let's have this roach go first. They're not going to move. He's just go Now he can attack. I mean, Tilda is closer, so he's going to attack Tilda. He rolls two dice. Um, two misses. All right. Um, Tilda does still get to roll a defense, though. 
is you always roll a defense, and so Tilda might get some cheese. Two cheese, in fact. That's very nice. Oh, that's, that's, okay. Our fates are turning around. Okay, so that was that cockroach. Um, let's have these two cockroaches. They're both right there. They um, are both closer to Colin, so they're both gonna go for him. First cockroach gets a cheese and a hit. So we get more cheese on the wheel. The wheel starts filling again, very scary. And a hit. Colin, though, gets to roll three defense dice, and he rolls two cheese and a defense, so he doesn't get hit, and he gets two more cheese. So you'll be able to inspire us again. All right, or battle squeak, for that matter. Okay, so. That was actually not a good time for him to inspire um, because her whole turn, although Filch will still get to do two actions. I'll live with it, I'll, I'll, I'll live with it, okay. So anyway, so that was one cockroach, uh, failed and got us some cheese. Second cockroach attacks, uh, two hits coming Colin's way. Colin gets three dice, do dodges both of them. Okay, so that's fine. And now this last cockroach, he um, can reach either of these guys. He can be in the spot or next to the spot, so he can go either of them. He'll go for Colin, oh wait, no. He has to choose between the two. Um, and the first choice is go for somebody who hasn't been hit yet. Colin ha or has been attacked yet. Colin has been attacked. Filch hasn't, so this one's going to attack um, Colin. And in fact, will move. Or actually, no, wait, what will it do? No, first they move. They always move if they can and move closest. And if it's equidistant, they always go to the guy. Or see, does, does, does that tiebreaker work on attack? I think it doesn't for movement. So he will move towards Colin, which is perfect, actually. Let me double check this. So many special little rules. Moving a minion. Um, uh, also apply to a minion in session. Moving a minion. Moving a minion first, roll the action, see how far they can move. It doesn't matter, he's only gonna move one space. Minions will always take the shortest route to the closest mouse and attempt to move to the same space as that mouse. All right, so it doesn't matter. He doesn't care about tiebreakers. So this one is going to move to the closest mouse. Oh, wait, oh, I forgot. Uh, minions cannot move say, sorry, if minions are if, equidistant. Yeah, it's the highest initiative, so this one will move towards Colin. So Colin is all alone with three mice. And now that means this um, other cockroach will come in and will try to hit Colin too. He gets to roll two dice. He gets a cheese and one hit. So that's another cheese on the wheel. Very scary. Colin gets to roll three defense and gets a, yep, so he defends it and he gets another cheese himself. Okay, okay, okay. So I think that's everybody. Yep, yep, okay. So the cockroaches are done. Now it's Filch's turn. And um, Filch, now, and Filch, if he wants to spend a cheese, gets to do two actions this turn because he was inspired by Colin. And he is definitely going to do two actions this turn. So spend the cheese. And his first action is going to be, now he, that means he can move and he can do two actions. He could battle twice, but um, instead, I, I think I messed this up before. Did I search and attack? I think I searched and attacked with him last round. That was cheating. I keep forgetting that um, you can't swap. Movement is not a basic move. So if I searched last turn, that was a cheat. But anyway, whatever. Uh, I'll add a note. But regardless, okay. So he can, he can first of all, let's search to see if we can find Maginos. 50 50 chance. Boom! Maginos is back, baby. Maginos appears right next to him. He's all healed up. He's got his Mystic Blast. He's just in time to... So, Colin Filch will also share a cheese, so Maginos will get two attacks as well. And now, the tide is turning. Okay, so Maginos, who just got back from... You know, Filch found him. That abduction is over. He's going to be inspired. Now, um, Filch still gets to move and attack. Um, let's have him attack. Let's just have him take out this little cockroach if he can. He gets to roll two dice. And he gets one success, and the cockroach only has one defense, and it succeeds, so he fails to hit anybody. But, all right, so that's it. And now Filch could still move. He could, he's the quickest. He could get up here. But again, these guys are less of a pain. As long as we leave them alone, they leave us alone, and there's much less of a chance of them rolling to eat this cheese than if we go up there. So let's just let them continue to try and eat the big cheese wheel. Okay. So, um, that's it for Filch. Maginos, he's fresh um, in from wherever he was captured. He's going to be inspired. He gets to do two actions as well. Oh, by the way, since Filch has successfully searched on this board, let's put the abduction over on him to remind us that he cannot search again. He has done his successful search. He cannot search again anymore in this room. All right, so Maginos, he gets two actions. He could do two attacks, or he could do an attack and a search. Um, he's just going to do two attacks. Let's see. Right. So... And he's going to start shooting. Well, he could punch this guy. Let's have him do, because he gets, again, it's, be, it's melee is more likely than range. So let's have him try and punch this guy first. And he gets two hits. Very nice. Let's see that roach's defense is nothing. This roach is dead. Cool. Okay. And now he gets one more attack. 
And let's have him move first. He'll just move one over there. Ah. No, he won't. Let's see how far he can move because of Brody. I forgot about Brody. This is important. Let's have him. Oh, in fact, actually, uh, before he went, yeah, um, we, we were going to have Filch move too. Let's have Filch. How far could Filch move? He could move two plus three. He can move five. He's going to go one, two. Three. He's going to hide over here in the corner. All right. Because he's afraid of the cat. You'll see why in a second. All right. So Filch moved. Then it was Maginos' turn. Maginos has done an attack. Um, let's have him. Let's have him move as well. Um, so how far can he move? Two plus two. He will move um, one, two, three. And um, I'm not. This might be. Let's have him move over there. Yeah. Okay. That might or may not be right. But, but, but we're spreading out because the cat. When Brody tries to chase us, it's good to be spread out as far as possible. Okay. So. And now he still has one more attack. So he's too far away from these roaches, but he'll shoot. Oh, attack! He'll shoot at. He'll shoot at one of these roaches up here. So he. Um, and remember, line of sight does not block range. He couldn't punch him. Um, and by the way, this counts as one gigantic space. If you're anywhere in here, you're next to a guy. So let's have him shoot. He gets two dice. He wants bows. He gets one bow and a cheese. Nice. So that's one hit. The one of the cockroaches gets one defense, and they do block it. All right. So, but he got a cheese. So that's pretty cool. So that's Maginos' turn. He moved. He did two actions. He tilled one. Okay. Now it's time for Brody. First of all, Brody is going to pounce. And it says, please look at page 16, which really sucks. It'd be nice if they had a reminder instead of telling you to go look at page 16. They had space. They could have said, see page 16 for more, and they could have described, but whatever. I kind of remember it. Brody gets to uh, do... Um, Brody is so big, he's not even on the board. He's just represented by this paw. This represents where he's hitting. He cannot, um, you know, because we can't attack him, but we can kind of attack his paw. And his paw will attack us. When he pounces, what he's going to do is, he is going to basically jump, and he will land in the space, wherever it is. He can basically teleport. He's going to jump and land on the space that has the most figures. Not the most mice, but the most figures. And that's why Colin went over here, because that means there's more figures than anywhere else. And so he, Colin is sacrificing himself, because now Brody is going to jump, and boom, land right here. And he's going to hit Colin and the three roaches. So well done, Colin. Oh, shoot. You know what, actually, sorry, I had this wrong. Um, Filch, and they, they moved over here. I, got, I, got, I lost track, I forgot he was gonna pounce before. He, so when the wizard and the thief moved, they moved kind of off into the far corners. Okay, cool. No, actually, I think this makes sense. Does it? No, it doesn't. E, one, two. Yeah, it does. Okay, yeah. So that's cool. All right. That's fine. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. Okay. So Brody is pounced. That's what the pounce ability is. Moves to the place. And that's why Colin came over here and drug all these cockroaches. So now Brody's attack is three. Let's see how hard he hits. He got one, two melee strikes. And now he got a cheese. A special thing about Brody is he, when he rolls cheese, it does not fill the wheel. Because Brody is not part of the evil forces trying to stop us, I guess. So we ignore this cheese. Brody has two hits. Everybody on this space, Colin and the cockroaches, all have to defend against two hits. Let's do Colin first. He gets, he has a shield and his armor, so he gets three defense. And he, oh my gosh, he rolled no defense and no cheese. Oh my gosh. Oh dear. My plan has backfired. Colin just took two points of damage and has been captured. He loses all this cheese. Oh wow. Wow, wow, wow. Come on, three defense and he, ugh. All right, so Colin is out. So we have to finish the rest of the room without him. He lost all that cheese and he lost the button shield, which sucks. That really sucks, okay. If this had been, if I recall correctly, I believe if this were in his pack, if he wasn't using it, then he would not have lost it. But you know, he was using it so he wouldn't take damage and it failed him so he lost it. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, anyway, so now the cockroaches, each of those three cockroaches has to defend. And well, actually, they're all three dead, but they all three get a chance to roll a cheese before they die. No cheese, no cheese, no cheese. All three of these cockroaches are dead. So Colin made a valiant sacrifice and took out the cockroaches. But now it's just the three of us versus this homicidal kitty cat. Oh dear. All right. So now Colin, Brody is pounced. Now he's going to chase. And what that means is Brody, first of all, we roll two, is it two dice? Let me look up. I forget if it's two or three dice. Brody chase. Roll two dice. Yes. We, we find how far Brody can move. 
it is two plus, oh, come on, two plus three. So he gets to move five spaces. So what he's gonna do is, he is gonna move five spaces and try to touch as many mice as possible. At this point, he doesn't care about bad guys, although he might still run through bad guys um, to get at them. Let's see, so one, two, one, two, three. Yep, um, Filch is closest, so he will go one, two, three, four, five. He could not reach anybody else. So that means, now, you know, that's why Filch is over here to drag him away. If he'd gone the other way, he would have gone one, two, three, four, five, and you would have hit two mice. But since Filch dra dragged him away, because Filch, oh wait, oh wait, oh wait, oh wait, oh wait, I'm sorry, got this wrong. Tilda is higher than Filch. Oh, but no, but Filch was closer. So he goes closest first. If, um, um, you know, if it was equal, he would have gone for Tilda because Tilda is higher, but he went for Filch. One, two, three, four, five. So he only hit Filch and he gets to roll three dice hitting Filch and he rolled three cheese. That was a total miss and he doesn't add cheese. So that was lucky. Filch still gets to roll his defense. Let's hope he gets some cheese and he got a cheese. Cool. All right. Oh, but we've lost our fearless leader who just had, okay, and that's a real problem because Brody, both, we have to destroy both of these cards. We have to hurt, we can't kill Brody, but we can scare him away if we take away his ability to pounce and his ability to chase, which means we have to de beat fours. Colin was our heavy hitter. He's the one who gets to roll three or four dice. This is going to be really rough. We might just lose, do, but, oh wait, I forgot. Did I roll for these? Yeah, I did. So, but the interesting thing is this fight could last forever because he will never add cheese to the wheel. These guys might add cheese to the wheel though. I think what somebody needs to do is, is run up here and get um, Brody to pounce and kill all of these guys too in one fell swoop. So that's our next move. Colin is out. He's up here. He's, he's captured. So it's Tilda's turn. Now Filch is hurt. Colin is out. Tilda has two cheese. Hmm. Unfortunately, this trick doesn't work against bosses. This would be great to have a guaranteed hit against Brody, but it's not. Tilda can also heal. Maginos can shoot. <sighs> I think we might need to level up. Really, somebody, you know, pull all our um, cheese so we can level up fast so that somebody can have a better chance. Or we could search. If we search like crazy, we might find a good weapon that would help us too. And it's Tilda first. Uh, I think it is time for Filch to use his, uh, to, get, to really search for a good weapon. But he needs more cheese. He doesn't have enough cheese. And he's way far away, so he can't get cheese from anybody. But we have to stay spread out, because otherwise Brody could hit all of us when he chases. Well, first of all, before we do anything, let's see how far Tilda can move. She can move three, four, five. She can move over here. One, two, three, four. Let's have her move over here. All right, so she's moved. Now she gets an action. Before she does, she will give one of her cheese to Filch so that she, Filch can do a really good search. Now her second action is, um, you know what? Actually, since she's here, no, but now she only has one cheese, so she can't do first aid. So she'll search. She'll search because she can't reach anybody. So she'll search. Let's see what she finds. A cheese. All right. Well, now, what the heck? She will use her two cheese. To activate her first aid, she can only do it once per turn. Um, and this was a free action, it wasn't an action, so she has healed up Filch. Okay, and so Filch can be the guy who drags Brody around, because Filch is going to be the one, hopefully, who gets up here. So Tilda's done. Now it's, oh, the roaches are out. No, they're not. The roaches, they get to see if they can eat some cheese, and they fail, fail, fail. All right, so they're done. Now it's Filch's turn. Let's see how far he can move. Three, perfect. Three is the best he can do. Three plus three means he can move six. One, two, three, uh, but he can't quite do it. He's so far away. One, two, three, four. He, um, to cross this yellow line would require three. So he would need five, six, seven. He can't quite make it up there, but he's gonna move into position. One, two, three, four. He can't quite make it up, but next turn he'll come up here and drag Brody up. Okay, since he's here, he might as well attack. Uh, no, he's not going to attack. He could try to attack Brody, but he only has to roll two offense, and Brody's defense is four. He doesn't have a chance. So he's going to do a search. He's going to spend two cheese. All right, no, he's going to search. Let it be successful. It's a success. Okay, so he spends two cheese, and that means he gets to choose from three cards. Give us something good, fates. Disguises. This is cool. If you're in a room with a bunch of rats, you can disguise yourself. This is not going to help. Levitate. 
Um, until uh, somebody casts this spell, when moving, you ignore yellow lines. So somebody could use this to get up high top, but that's not important. Claw Biter. I think this is the one, yes. Before attacking, spend up to three cheese. For each cheese spent, add plus one to the mounts' battle. This is our ticket. Okay. Filch is going to eclipse Claw Biter. And now it's interesting. This is an item that takes one hand. And this is an item that takes one hand. The, the mice, as you might imagine, have two hands. So Filch is going to have both of these weapons equipped. And he can choose whenever he attacks which ones he wants to use. If he uses Claw Biter, he can pump it up with more cheese and roll more dice. So Filch is our heavy hitter, but we need to give him cheese. And you know what? Boom, he's right next to Maginos. He's going to share. So he, you know, because Maginos is right there. He's going to take Maginos' cheese, and he is going to attack now. Oh no, but he can't. His one action was roll, was um, searching, so he can't attack now. But he'll still take the cheese from Maginos so that he can power up Claw Biter. Okay, because we're going to need it to beat this cat. So that was it. Now it's Maginos' turn. What is Maginos going to do? Maginos is going to run far away. Um, one. One, right? So he can move one, two, three, so he'll go one, two, three. Now what is the cat going to do? The cat is first going to pounce. And since... Um, no, there, you know, there's, there's no place where there's multiple people aligned. He has to choose where to pounce, and I think that means he breaks on initiative, right? Um, if more than one space has equal number, Brody will pounce on space that contains a figure with the highest initiative. So he is going to pounce after Tilda. And then he's going to run, which means he could run back and maybe hit Brody. Or, I'm sorry, not Brody, um, Filch. All right. So that's the way it's going to work. Okay, so Tilda's going to be in trouble this round. But we'll worry about that in a second. Right, because it's me. So, um, Maginos moved far away. <sighs> and Maginos is just going to search. Well, no, actually, Maginos is not going to move far away because he needs to stay around so he can give more cheese to Phil. So, he'll stay close by. And he's just going to search because there's no reason to attack. And what does he get? He gets a one, so he gets to draw something. Intense cowering. This is a trick. Uh, play this card when a mouse is um, selected by a minion as the target of attack. That minion cannot attack this mouse during the turn. If possible, must choose a new target. So this is kind of like a temporary invisibility. That's pretty cool. Now I forgot. Oh, how's this Mystic Blacks work? Okay, yeah, it's just a two. But, oh, but it increases damage. Or no, it ups it if you... Oh. So actually, I forgot. I forgot. Maginos has Mystic Blast. He has a better than normal chance of hurting the cat as well. Okay. But he has no cheese. And he needs two cheese to do it. So he searched, but you know what? He's going to attack anyway. He doesn't really have a chance of hitting. He's just attacking to hopefully roll some cheese. No, but he just searched, so he can't attack. So he's done. All right, so he's done now. Brody pounces. Brody is going to pounce. Eee, boom. Going to hit um, um, Tilda. He rolls three dice. Hopefully all cheese. And that's only one hit. Tilda has two defense. And Tilda rolls a defense, so the pounce didn't bother anybody. Now the cat is going to charge. I believe the cat ignores the... Um, right, he has to see how far Brody can move. He can move four, which means one, two, three, four. So that means he's just going to run right back over here and hit... That's one, two, three, four. So we're going to hit... Um, and let's see how hard he hits. That's two hits. Oh, dear. Filch gets two dodges. Gets no dodges, but gets a cheese. Ouch. But just took two points of damage. That is bad news. Filch is our heavy hitter now, is almost dead. Yikes! Okay. And the kitty is done. Now, Tilda's turn. Tilda, she's going to search. All right. And by the way, Maginos has already searched, so he's not going to be able to search again. Filch can't search again. Tilda could still search. <gasps> Filch couldn't search. I totally forgot. Filch was unable to search because Filch was the one who searched and found Maginos. So Filch doesn't have this. Oh dear, or, I'm sorry, um, or not the, right, I totally forgot. So Filch does not have Claw Biter. And that means when Maginos searched, he didn't find Intense Cowering, he found Claw Biter. All right, so we still found it. But that means last turn, when instead of Filch searching, let's say he attacked and he did get a cheese. Okay, sorry about that, folks, I totally forgot. It's so easy to forget who can and can't search. Really kind of a pain. All right, so uh, Maginos has searched. Maginos, after he searched, he was next to Filch, so he gave Claw Biter to Filch anyway. All right, so cool. But anyway, Maginos, he can't search anymore, so let's just put this as a reminder that Maginos can't search. Tilda can still search. So, what is Tilda going to find? She rolls a die. I mean, she could attack, but it's kind of, well, if she attacks, she might get some cheese, which she could give to Filch. Yeah, let's have her. So first of all, let's see how far she can move. She can only move one, two, three. That's one, two, three. Okay, she's going to attack the paw. 
And she fails, but she did get a cheese. And she will hand that to Filch. Filch has four cheese now. So Tilda is done. She moved and she attacked. Um, now, the roaches, they're going to search for cheese again. And, oh, one of them has finally found a cheese. Nom, 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 nom. I guess it's taking a long time to eat it. Okay. And now it's Filch's turn. Filch is going to attack the kitty. Um, is going to pump all the cheese in it. Before attacking, spend up to three cheese. Filch is going to spend three cheese. And for each cheese spent, add plus one. So Filch gets two, three, four, five. Filch gets to roll five dice attacking this cat. Because remember, the attack, the cat gets four defense. So we need a really big hit. Come on, give me a big hit, baby. Okay, there's one cheese. So that's powering up for the next one. That's good. And two misses, because we're doing an melee attack, so those don't count. Only two hits. That's sad. Okay, so two hits. The cat gets to roll four defense. All right, first of all, we have to choose where are these hits going. Do they hit the pounce or do they hit the chase? We want to hit the chase because we want to use the pounce to bring him up here so he'll pounce and hit the other. So we're going to attack the chase. So two hits are going towards the chase. And now he gets to roll four defense. Let's see what he gets. And he rolled only one. So that means one hit went through. And there was only one hit point, so we've done it. Chase, Brody is no longer going to chase us. Phew, okay, so that was successful. Well done, claw biter. Okay, so Filch is now, I see, while he's still here, no, there's no more cheese he can't share. He's done his action, he's now gonna move. I should have rolled up front. His movement is one plus his three, so he has four, so he can make it up here. He's made it up to the top. Because remember, you needed three to move up here, and now he's up here. And now, that means these roaches aren't gonna eat anymore, they're gonna come for Filch. But the important thing is, um, after Maginos' turn, it's going to be Brody. Brody's going to jump up here, and he's going to hit everybody. And hopefully that'll finish the last of these. So, Maginos' turn. What's he going to do? He's already done a search, so I guess he'll take a pot shot. Really, um, I guess he'll shoot at one of these mice. Or, yeah, he, he's going to shoot at one of the rats. Because we're really, we don't want to kill Brody. We want Brody to come up here and kill all the cockroaches. So, he's going to shoot at a cockroach. He gets two attempts. He doesn't get a cheese, he does get one success. One of the cockroaches gets one defense, fa uh, fails. So, boom, one of the, the cockroaches is out. Nice, okay. Oh, by the way, I forgot. When we got the Miss Maggie success thing, we got more time on the clock, so we're still doing okay. All right, so he is attacked, and now he can move. Uh, but I don't think he's gonna bother moving. Or you know what, he is gonna move. Let's see how far he can move. He can move. So he's over here, so that when we want to leave, we can leave very, very quickly, because he's in position to leave when we want to, because that's our exit out of this room, going back down. We cannot leave the room going this way, because you'll notice the gold and the silver don't match. So anyway, so that was Maginos, and now it's time for Brody to pounce. Brody will pounce into the place where there are the most figures, which is up here. Boom. He's going to hit for three. Let's see what he does. Um, that's, oh my gosh, three hits. Wow. Okay. Brody's very angry after, um, after that sting. All right, so Filch only gets two defense. If he takes any hits, he dies. <sighs> this is maybe a bad idea. <sighs> Tilda could have healed him too. Now Filch came up here knowing he was in trouble. Yeah, actually thinking about it, this was way too dangerous for Filch to come up here. Way too dangerous. Because Filch is definitely going to die. And Filch, and that means we'd lose the claw biter. So Filch did not come up here to drag Brody. Filch ran as far away as he could. Or I think he was able to go four. Instead, Maginos came up here. Maginos is the one who's going to take the chance and maybe die. So anyway, Maginos, so Maginos now has two hits coming his way. Let's see if he defends with only one. Um, and he didn't defend, so that's two hits. So he's almost dead now. But the two hits are also going to the cockroaches, or the three hits, right? And so the cockroaches each get to defend. They didn't roll any cheese. And the other, but they both actually succeeded, but it didn't matter. It was such a big hit that they're all out. Okay, so the cheese wheel of doom is not, we, know, we can stay in here forever. Our only danger is not running out of time because Brody doesn't add to the cheese wheel. Our only danger is Brody killing us, which could still happen. He's very nasty and he's tough to hit. And Maginos is almost dead. Filch is almost dead. We're, okay, the cockroaches are gone, and we're ready for the next round. Colin is still missing in action and will not be found until Brody is taken out. Tilda's turn. Tilda needs to heal. All right, Tilda found, okay, got a one. So, is that enough? 
One, two. So Tilda's gonna move over here. Not be in the same space. Oh, but she has to be in the same space, doesn't she? Yeah, I mean, move instead of, yeah. In the same action, yeah. So Tilda moved into the space, is gonna share. So she's gonna take these two cheese from Filch. And she's going to do a free action, which is first aid. She's going to use these cheese to remove one wound. Oh wait, I forgot, I forgot. Tilda gets to, it doesn't, have, it doesn't cost her two, it only costs her one. So she still has a cheese, she'll give that back to Filch. So she healed one of Filch's, uh, removed one wound from that mouse, that is on the same space as mouse, healers pay one less. All right, so that's that. So Filch is feeling better, she moved over there, that was a free action. She could still search, so let's see what she finds. She finds. Um, uh, not some cheese, unfortunately, and no, so she found nothing. Tilda's turn is done. Filch's turn. Filch needs to get to Brody. Can he possibly get up there? One, two, three, four, five, six. If he rolls a three, he could make it up there. Come on, roll a three. A three, nice, okay. So he's got one, two, three, and then one, two, three. He is up here, and my battery's almost dead. I'm gonna see this through, though. So let me go ahead, and I hate having it plugged in because it's really kind of obnoxious, but, ah! Let's, I, I want to finish this fight. Okay, boom, there we go. Oh, everything's fine. So he's made it up here, he's moved. He's only got one cheese though. But he can still, right, so he's gonna attack. He's gonna pump this up, so that means he gets to roll three because he only had one cheese on him. And he's gonna, he's gonna attack Brody's paw. Three attacks and two hits. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Two hits. Brody gets to roll four defense. And he failed completely. Boom! Boom! Bye bye, kitty cat. Brody is gone. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Dee 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 doo 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 doo. And that means Colin comes back. Hooray! Okay, so we did it. We survived. We bought some more time, we got this, which will help us in a future adventure, but we still haven't gotten out of here. So, um, right, so that was Filch's turn. He's moved, he's attacked. Maginos' turn, he, let's see how far he can move. He gets to roll, move one, two, three. So one, because if you're going in the direction, it's fine. Two, three, and then he's gonna explore and he's gonna get us out of here. Because if he doesn't, we'll end the turn in this room with nobody in here and the wheel will start filling up again. So he's just gonna leave, we all come back. We're back here underground. And now Maginos' turn ends, and unfortunately, boom, uh, it's in, because we come back into this room, the room does not fill up again, it's still empty. And so, now we can go again. We can just keep going, and now we can move over here. We have to come through here, we have to deal with whatever's in this room, and then we have to deal with whatever is in this room, and escape, I think, oh, this is facing the wrong way, and escape through the old knot in the tree, if I recall correctly. Sorry, that's a spoiler, but, I think you've seen enough, you got an idea. We're gonna to have to come back here, we're gonna to have to fight some more, we're gonna to have to fight some more. There's actually gonna be some special stuff that happens in here with a very interesting character. I won't explain, I won't spoil what it is. And then we will have finished the first of 11 chapters in this game. And hopefully that gives you guys a pretty good idea of what Mice and Mystics is all about. And if you'd like to hear some final thoughts, you can hit the button now in five, four, three, two, one.